soon as my Spider 5 parcel arrived, I was so thrilled to open and calibrate my monitor. I have been color creating with blind eyes. Since I'm struggling opening this parcel, let me tell you what is color calibration and why it's important, especially if your work involves being creative in your computer. Monitor calibration is the process of measuring and adjusting the colors on your computer monitor to match a common standard. To measure the color, you'll use a device called a spectrophotometer or a colorimeter like this Spider 5 Express. The device works through computer software to maintain the color of your images. Before using the device, I YouTubed about it, specifically how to install the software. Now each screen displays images differently. The same image will look different on my monitor versus my phone screen versus my client screen. The inner workings of the screen itself are different. The user may also have tweaked her settings for the screen. The result is images looking different from one screen to the next without any changes to the actual file being made. This can result in different skin tones and product colors from monitor to monitor. So which version represents the true color, contrast, and sharpness? That's why monitor calibration is so important. Monitor calibration adds consistency to the situation. It works by attempting to employ a common standard so that any monitor using the standard will present the image in the same way. Professional printers are also calibrated to this standard so that what you see is what you print, so to speak. Anyone printing and selling images should make monitor calibration part of their standard routine. So should anyone who earns their living with precise coloring, like graphic designers. It took around 5 to 10 minutes. Once done, the software allowed me to check whether the calibration took place. You can't tell on this screen record whether it worked, but when I was staring at my monitor during this moment, I saw the difference. Time to put it to the test. I opened my Premiere and started color grading from my previous YouTube video. Then I exported it, downloaded it on my Google Drive, and viewed the video on my phone. From the first look, I was not sold on whether it worked, because I saw on my phone the video has a blue tint, whereas on my monitor screen, it did not. I was thinking whether it could be because I turned the eye comfort option on my phone. However, it was not the case. Side by side, they look similar, but I still was not convinced. I did my research and found I missed the instructions to put my Mac operating system screen on default and also to double check whether my Premiere settings for color grading are correct. I put the links below for your information too. In conclusion, I'm happy with the results I've had so far and I feel more confident in color grading. I know that despite all of this, my color grading will still not be exactly the same because everyone's screen is different. However, I'm really happy with how close the colors are from my phone to my monitor. Also, my color grading previously was really bad. I've dealt with clients complaining how they receive my videos with flat colors even though in my monitor it was saturated. My monitor made me colorblind. But now, I feel more confident in color grading and look forward to doing it more. The only downside for me is that I found the price of the product expensive, so I decided to rent one from an app called Fat Llama. I recommend you do so too. I will probably end up buying one in the future once I've saved up, as Spider 5 software recommends color calibration once a month. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, comment down below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.